So the under 20 men away now and probably getting the best of the start was the runner on the inside in Hicks. Although they're running stride for stride at the moment, Hicks and Poole, they straighten up now and Poole just starting to edge clear. And Damon Poole is stretching out from Ashley Hicks. The runner from the Scott School is going to take a pretty convincing win in the end here. He runs down the line in 23.05 to take it out from Ashley Hicks and claim the under 20 men's all schools title. So away and off to a flying start in lane five as Michael Hansford, the runner from Cooey Rupp Secondary, moving past the shoulder of Thomas Napper on his outside. T-Taz didn't get the best of starts, the runner from Trinity Grammar, but starting to get into his work now. They straighten up now and it's Hansford in front. T-Taz continuing to come at him and Whitefriars runner now in Thomas Napper coming hard as well, but it's going to be Michael Hansford to hold this one down the line. The fast finishing Chris T-Taz can't quite there, get there. He takes second and Thomas Napper from Whitefriars Gets the bronze. 22-4-0. Unofficial. The winning time for Michael Hansford. So away and Tabe, the visiting Tasmanian, off to a flying start out in lane six. Already moving past the shoulder of Michael Cam. Going well on his inside. Also it looks to be the runner from Balcom Grammar in Jackson Miller Gage. So they straighten and it's these two out in front. The runner from Frankston High now in Lawson Power starting to get into it, but he's not going to catch the man out in front. And that is Russell Tay, the visiting Tasmanian. 22-49, he stops the clock in. Pretty tight finish for the minor placings, but it is Jackson Miller Gage who holds on to take the Victorian title. 22-49 unofficial for our winner, Russell Tape of Tasmania. So away now, getting off to a really good start there. The runner from Melton Christian College in Cameron Searle. Going well on his outside is Jacob Caesar. So too Ben Kloster, the runner from Rosebud Secondary. They'll straighten up now, and it's going to be Cameron Searle out in front, although starting to come hard on the outside is Yara Conte. It's going to be tight down to the line between these two. Searle just starting to edge away now, and Cameron Searle's going to take it out from Conte. Tight finish and dip at the line between Ben Kloster and Jacob Caesar. Kloster, I think, just getting the nod there, but... One thing that is certain is that Cameron Searle is our champion for the under-16 boys. 22-5-1, unofficial, for a pretty convincing win. So, away now, getting off to a really good start there was Akino Ojalabi going pretty well on his outside to Lachlan Lamb. And now starting to get into it in lane three is Parker Lawrence. They straighten up and it's Lachlan Lamb that leads him into the straight. Still Akino Ojalabi going well, but here comes Parker Lawrence on their inside. He's just starting to break clear now. He's Parker Lawrence coming hard. The runner from St. Kevin's there in Phillip Ball, but it's Parker Lawrence, 23-39, taking this one down the line and claiming a comfortable finish a uh, comfortable win in the end, rather, for the under-15 men. Pretty tight there for the minor placings, and we'll await official results on that. But a pretty strong performance there. So, away now, getting off to a good start there. Out in lane five was Melvin Monlay, the runner from Maribyrnong, Junior Marbia. His teammate going well on his inside, and so too Aaron Peter Budge. They straighten up now, and it's these three well clear of the rest of the field, although getting a bit of a run on the inside now is Leffering. But Junior Marbia now starting to get into his work and stretching clear of Melvin Monlay. It's going to be Junior Marbia with that quick turnover, taking it down to the line in 23-7-7, and pretty happy about his efforts by the looks of things. Melvin Monlay comes through for second, and Aaron Peter Budge takes the bronze for the under-14 men's 200 metres.